can hear you really well. But my, my question, Tom, is is um, going back to this recent um, killings in New York. Mm -hmm. And I guess the question that I have is, unfortunately, our country is divided, whether we like it or not. We have our liberals and we have our conservatives. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their thoughts on that. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, just fine. Okay, great. Um, so my, my question is, why are we looking at this as this gentleman who came into our country, most likely illegally, and killed eight people, injured 11 people, and is now requesting to have the ISIS flag available to him? He clearly admitted what he did. Why do we give people like that a fair trial? Because I know on the conservative side, we don't look at it that way. Because, Vicki, you might be the next person who's charged with a crime. You ever read Franz Kafka? No. The, the, the conservative position on the power of the like state, the, the conservative position on the power of the state is that the power of the state, because it has the power to deprive you of both life and liberty, it has the, the state has the power to execute you, and the, the state has the power to imprison you. And therefore, that power, which is an absolute power, the ability to end your life, that power has to be very, very tightly circumscribed, which means that the, the, the rights of the guilty before their guilt has been established are as important as the rights of the innocent because some of the guilty before their guilt has been established may be not guilty. This guy, it's fairly obvious he's guilty. He still deserves and should get the, the, uh, the, the full benefit of our of our criminal justice system otherwise how can we call ourselves a civilized country oh i understand that we all want to be politically correct i'm not talking about politically correct vicky i'm talking about the foundational concepts of democracy and self-governance i'm talking about what what john locke was talking about in, in in 1674 when he was writing the second treatise on government i'm talking about what thomas Hobbes was writing about in 1635 uh, in Leviathan, the, this concept that if, if justice is, you know, it used to be justice was only available to the lords and ladies, only available to the very wealthy, only available to the ruling class. And the, the great American innovation was that justice is available to everybody. That's the, the 14th Amendment. Equal protection under the law is, entitled, is, is available to everybody. And when you step away from that and you start saying, you know, we've decided this guy he, it's so obvious he's guilty, we don't even need to do the process anymore. Once you do that with anybody, no matter how guilty they are, once you do that, you're setting up the possibility that the next person that that gets done to could be Vicky because she made a call into a talk show host. Vicki? Yeah, so I, I hear clearly what you're saying, and I, I, I do agree with the way that we've set things up in our law on some levels, but we clearly have a problem here in our country where people are coming over here and they're taking advantage of that right because they know that the consequences are pretty light. Well, he, this and guy's going to have either... This guy is set for the death penalty. When he was arraigned yesterday or the day before... Um, they, they read into the charges that they were death penalty charges. How is that light? When is the, when is the last person that you know of, Tom, that actually went to death? Um, or, you or know, it happens every few weeks. It's, it's happening all over the country constantly, and I'm opposed to it. I mean, he's also facing okay, life in prison. What's light about life in prison, particularly given how brutal well, the American prison I, system is? It's one of the brutal, most brutal in the developed world. No. No, no, no. Uh, obviously, you haven't worked in the prison system. I have, and they get three square meals a day. They get to go out and have their freedoms outside. They can have phones. They can have television. They can have all of the benefits that a lot of our homeless and our elderly people and our veterans do not get. So I. So you want to treat prisoners like animals? Well, I want to treat them like they've treated the other people. Because yeah. let me ask you this. See that that is that is not. Uh, that, that's not criminal justice. That's, that's revenge. Vicki, thank you for the call. We'll be back.